All right. Well, look at this. It's it's the biggest Brady Bunch ever. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to <laughs> the Bio Dojo's Demo Listen Derby. Um, I'm Tish Hicks. I am the Master Sensei of the Bio Dojo here in Burbank, California. And uh, we're joined today. The Demo Listen Derby is... Uh, um, made, made possible in part by uh, Brittany Cox and Ryan Ricks of Next Level Voice Demos. Um, and uh, this is like, we do this a couple times a year because it's a really, really powerful, um, uh, powerful exercise, powerful experience to, um, to have, a, to get a sense of uh, where your demo sort of fits in. Um, so we call this, um, uh, well actually, Brittany and Ryan, say hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, so why don't we tell, tell a little bit about, um, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I'll share a little bit about the dojo as people are coming on. Um, if you are coming on, if you can um, mute yourself until until it's time to talk, then we won't get everyone's environs um, in the background there. And uh, if you can, um, yeah, actually, let me just mute everybody. How about that? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, much quieter. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> if you do, if you do need to unmute yourself, if you have uh, something to share, um, the mute button is, is in the lower left hand corner. Um, and if you need to take off your shirt or anything, you can stop the video. Like, <laughs> that. um, That's so. a different kind of call. <laughs> but we can still hear you. <laughs> so, um, excellent. So tell us a little bit about yourselves, Brittany and Ryan. Hi, so I'm Brittany. Um, I am a voice actor with uh, here in Los Angeles. I'm with Abrams. Uh, my specialties are in commercial, uh, narration, video game, animation, all that, all that good stuff. Um, and my husband Ryan and I have been producing demos for a very long time. <laughs> Seven. Seven, seven years, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and we're both originally from North Carolina and lived up in Seattle for a few years and are here in California. Yeah, super great. Uh, yeah. And then my name's Ryan and I am a uh, audio engineer and full-time composer working in Los Angeles. I got my start in the business through the voice casting side of things, uh, as well as doing music licensing and placements for big commercial clients uh, at a big studio up in Seattle. Uh, and then from there, branched off into writing music for said commercial clients and have continued working as an audio engineer in uh, voiceover and audio post-production uh, ever since. It's great. I love it. Super yeah. nerdy. We can talk <laughs> about all things. It's great. That's yeah. us in a nutshell. <laughs> yeah. And, and we've, we've been working together, um, collaborating. Uh, Brittany and Ryan have been the, the dojo's um, main, main demo producers and um, the whole idea of the VO Dojo is that we're here for, uh, it's a full training program that's designed to take you from I don't know to working pro and guiding you, connecting you and accelerating you every step of the way. So having the resources in, in line um, and preparing you for being ready is what we're, what we're about. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, so let's get started on this demo listen derby. So we call it a demo listen derby because um, Basically, what we're going to do is have several rounds. Here, let me put, um, let me put this uh, up on the screen. We're going, to run everyone's, we're going to run everyone's demo through what we call the gauntlet, right? Now, the gauntlet is actually the process that, um, that, Ryan, um, <laughs> that Ryan went, like did on a daily basis, right? Of, in being the gatekeeper at a, um, at a um, I'm trying to figure out how to get this full page, um, at, a, at a production company, right? So, um, so we're going to do a couple of rounds. The first round, we're going to um, listen just as we would, um, uh, just as we would 
if we had a busy day and we're running through. So we're going to listen for the first however many seconds that you ca catch our, our ear. And then each one of us, it's going to be like a little um, uh, Tinder swipe. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Um, and uh, we'll be listening for these first impression things. Um, so the first impressions of your voice uh, will be running through. Um, sorry, I don't know how to get this full screen. Do, 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 do. It's easy. Um, right? Oh, <laughs> okay, we're fine. Okay. okay, so we're going to, to be listening for the first, uh, these, these things that catch our ear. Um, we'll put the, the ones that, that we get yes into the next round, and then we'll take it through the next step of the gauntlet. So this is the demo listen derby part, right? Everybody's in the beginning, and then it gets narrowed down and narrowed down. And then we'll, we'll take one and um, listen to it all the way through and give, give our, our impressions. Um, and then we'll do, there's, uh, we have commercial and then we have some narration uh, entries and some, and or I guess, yeah. I, hate, I don't want the word entry because that implies that there's some contest or there's a winner and there's not. It's one of the things at the dojo, we don't talk about winners. We talk about being the chosen one or, you know, or in this case, getting excellent feedback. Um, because if you if you start with you if you start getting into the mindset that when you get the job you're the winner, it inherently implies that when you don't get the job you're the loser, and that is just dangerous territory internal territory to be approaching anything, because a lot of times we're not going to get the job, <laughs> so <laughs> um, <laughs> so we just we just set that up healthily. Um, yeah, now, the thing about this is like everything in the business, and we'll, we'll come back and we'll, we'll talk through these impressions and I'll uh, make sure that you guys get a copy of this. Um, like everything in the business, this is our opinion on this day in this moment, right? So like everything in the business, what we hope it will do is inform you to give um to give you a really visceral sense of wow that's that's how fast things happen that's how and that's how kind of um mm, it, you could say brutal you could say just honest or you know that's that's how that's how distinct it happens how distinctly it happens um brutal is sort of an emotional attachment to it but there, there'll be stuff that will come up for you emotionally and that's what this is for we want you to get we want you to get through it um this is our opinion and we both we all three of us will be available afterwards to talk through so if it seems like what but on this we'll have opportunities if you want to talk more and we can we can focus on everybody's um you know give you individual feedback if if you're interested so just want to make sure that you understand that. And the really most important thing here, guys, is that you are developing um, a sense of trusting yourself, right? When we're starting or even when we're in it, in it for a while, sometimes we're like, wait, do, do I even know what I'm talking about? I can't even tell anymore. So you'll, you'll get lots of opinions from lots of different people. And then we want you to have these skill, these sort of criteria, so you can make your own judgment and you can be uh, developing your own barometer. That's, that's my perspective on it. Um, excellent. Anything else uh, that they should know, Brittany and I? Uh, kind of going along with what you were just talking about, like uh, what we hope people get out of this yeah, as, as I think, uh, just before we kind of dive into the nitty gritty and, yeah. and um, kind of start working our way through the demos, uh, I do think, you know, this idea of mindset is something that's like super important and a lot of people don't necessarily talk about. Um, and so like Brittany and I were talking this morning and we were kind of like, if there was like three things right out of the gate that people could walk away with and know mm -hmm. Um, you know, what would those things be that would be the most helpful? Um, and so, and I think a lot of these kind of fall under the category of mindset and perspective. Yeah. Um, and to that end, the first thing that we were talking about, and this will come up a lot throughout the day, is um, that your demo does not exist in a vacuum. 
And so what that means is, is that there are a lot of other people that are submitting their demos for the same jobs that you are. Um, and so the expectation is, is that when your demo is thrown into a pile of 50 to 500, 500 can it stand on its own legs mm -hmm. in that context? And so, um, like I said before, I got my start in the industry through the voice casting side of things. Um, and that was my job. It's my job was to uh, compile demos and to request demos from various agencies or directly from talent, however it was. And then I would get my pot of anywhere on a normal day, like 200 to 250 demos. And it was my job to pair from 250 down to 15 or 20 that I felt represented what the client was asking for and represented our studio the best for the available talent pool that we had, and then would send those 20 to the client, and then the client would take a listen to those 20, sometimes even less, you know, 10, and then would go from there and say, we'd like to hear auditions from, you know, these 10 people or from these five people or whatever, and that's how the process would go. And so very realistically in these casting situations, one person is being asked to whittle down 500 demos to 20. And so the, the expectation of having somebody at first, first impression listen to your entire demo uh, is not, it's not realistic at all. Um, at least in first rounds. You know, so your demo has to stand on its own legs in that context. And we're going to talk about ways and identify some ways that, uh, that you can do that and help you stand out in, in that type of environment. Which leads us to our second point, which is quality. Which is qual which is quality matters is the second thing that we that's a very important mindset thing to have. So your demo doesn't exist in a vacuum, and also the next thing, quality matters. Mm -hmm. um, so you can if you put yourself in the shoes of a casting director or an agent or a client, it's not hard to imagine how quickly you know things sound off when you're literally just going down a list of yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It becomes very apparent when uh, something sounds weird, something sounds off, it's poor recording quality, the, the something is just off about it. It doesn't sound authentic, it doesn't sound real. And we're gonna talk about these things as we get into the specific demos. Uh, but what's important for now is the understanding that like, just like when you pop in like your, your favorite records, like if you have a favorite record that was recorded in the seventies and then you listen to a modern day, like pop record that was recorded, you know, last month, they sound so different. The sonic quality of the, those pieces of music beyond just their individual content mm -hmm. is so different. And so when we're talking about quality, that's what we're talking about is what comes out of the speakers immediately and what impression does that make? Uh, and you would, and you're going to hear it today. Like you're going to be surprised at how quickly once we get into the flow, you're going to be like, "Oh no, that that doesn't sound right," or "Whoa, that's that's what it's that supposed to like sound it's on like." The radio. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, radio, TV, these different things all have a very specific sound, mm -hmm. and that sound has changed over the years. And so, it's important that your demo can stand up to that in 2019. Um, our last point. And then the last point for the mindset thing before we jump into the demos is that your demo is not your resume. And so what we mean by that is that the expectation of a demo or the job of a good demo is to book you the quantity and quality of work that fits your definition of success. Uh, just like Tish was saying, like it's, it all comes from you. Mm -hmm. And so it's important when you set out on this journey that you define what your ideal success looks like. And it's important for you not to hold back in any way. Right. Like it doesn't make any sense for you to be like, oh, I just kind of want to like work in voiceover. It's like, no, like, what do you want? Like, do you want to <laughs> voice like a huge commercial campaign? Like, do you want to like take over the industry and be like a big promo trailer guy? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to like, be consistently working in your area and your region, you know? And so to that end, your demo is not your resume in the sense that its job is not to showcase everything that you could possibly do because it's only 60 seconds long. 
when we're talking about a commercial demo, when we're talking about an animation demo. Um, so you can't possibly showcase your life experience in 60 seconds. Your demo is more about showcasing your personality and is about opening doors for you about here's, here's who I am as a voice talent and here is where I'm going as a voice talent. And here's how you can cast me. And here's how you can cast me. And those are the <clears throat> things that are kind of in our brains and are in every casting director's brain when they're listening through demos is like, who is this person? How, where do they fit for me? Like, are they a right fit for me? And so at the end of the day, this whole thing about demos is about being of service to your end users. And in this case, your end users are your clients and your casting directors and your agents and managers and people that are on your team. And so the things that you can be, uh, the things that you can do to make their job easier, uh, the better. And mm -hmm. Yes. And with all that being said, with what Tish was talking about today, when we're giving feedback on demos, um, yes, this is from our perspective and from where we are in the industry. If your demo is getting you the type of work that you want to be getting, it's working for you. A demo is there to get you work. And if you are booking the type of work that you want to be getting, mm -hmm. great. It, it's working for you. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. But if the demo, if you're not getting the type of work or getting into the doors that you want to be getting into or meet, haven't gotten a meeting with the agent that you want, the demo is a really good place to start. And these are what we're going to be talking about today are things that you can listen for and look at and be like, oh, I didn't think of this. Maybe this right. is why I'm not getting in the doors that I want to be getting into. Right. So from that, point of view and from that perspective of, of being of service and wanting to help, yes. you know, that's what we're here to do. Yes. Um, and so to that end, I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll jump in. We're going to start with commercial demos first, uh, because in our experience and in common practice in the industry, commercial demos are the most viable way mm -hmm. to connect with agents and to book work. Um, yes. As a real world example, we have a really good friend who is a fantastic character artist um, and does any like their voices are insane. are insane and sound like I mean they sound like anything you've ever heard on any fantastic cartoon or and he's worked with Disney Pixar movie or whatever <laughs> like he's incredible um, he was wanting to move to a different agent he went into that agency and submitted his, his character demo and did some character reads for them in person and they're like this is fantastic uh, now just do some commercial copy for us uh, and he he couldn't do it and they didn't sign him because he couldn't deliver an authentic commercial performance. And so, you know, kind of the gatekeeping of demos and the gatekeeping of the industry is being able to deliver a modern, authentic commercial read for what is on trend now. And so that's why we're going to start with commercial demos first, and then we'll move towards the animation and other narrative stuff. And if for whatever reason we don't get to your demo or we um, uh, don't have time to go super in depth with your specific demo, like Tish said, we're all available after this um, and we'll put up our information later to get more in depth. So yeah. don't, don't panic. Yeah, no stress, no stress. Uh, There's so no what, law here. <laughs> right. uh, so what I'm going to do real quick is uh, just switch over and I'm going to share my screen mm -hmm. and then uh, we'll just start listening down uh, to some commercial demos. So hold on one second. Uh, let's see, we want to do this window. Share computer sound. Share. Okay, great. Uh, give me thumbs up. Can you guys see this? Screen, okay, yes, great. okay, fantastic. Uh, great, commercial folder, and then let's do just a quick uh, audio test to make sure everything's working. Florida's natural premium brand yes. orange juice That's is up. made just. Everybody hear that? Yeah. Okay, great, great. Yeah. awesome, Super. Lovely. Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, so and, uh, before we start, Ryan, um, I'm going to put the I'm going to put the the um, link to the Dropbox uh, a link a Dropbox link to. Um, to the the gauntlet that we're looking looking at here, so everyone. Oh, the sheet. Great. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Super. Super. Um, yeah, and you know <laughs> and that, uh, that sheet has a lot of kind of uh, over kind of macro view guidelines mm -hmm. and and things to uh, consider as we go through. Um, okay, so 
Before we get started on listening. So before we, before we listen, and I hope this becomes clear throughout the day, is so much of the success that you're going to find in the industry starts with your perception. And your perception uh, starts with the first impression you make when you reach out to a complete stranger, because 98% of the people that are going to hire you uh, have never met you before. They're like Brittany and myself, you know. We know some of you just because we've worked with some of you before. Uh, but like odds are people aren't going to know who you are when you're submitting for these demos. And so your first impression uh, is so important and the perception of that influences how people are going to hear your stuff. Where does that start? It starts in file naming. Uh, so looking at this folder, just take a quick look for yourself and look at all the crazy that is a part of these file names. There's one that has a bunch of... Like this person has their name three times. This has some weird codec information in it. Like, like it's very strange. Some of these, this has weird email address. Like if I were a casting director and I looked at this folder and got this from somebody, um, I would be not happy in the sense that it just looks messy, it's very confusing, and it's, it's, it doesn't seem very like put together. So what does great naming look like? It looks like Jimmy. Jimmy wins the naming award for today. Uh, so, you know, nine times out of 10, uh, people will tell you how they want their files named for their, for their particular job you're submitting for. Um, but with a demo, a lot of times it's just, you know, you just want to get straight to the point. So your file name is your full name, space dash space, whatever the demo is, commercial, animation, audiobook, narration, whatever. Just fill it in. Super easy. If I got a folder that looked like, you know, Jimmy, commercial, Janet, commercial, Jane, commercial, I'd be like, okay, great. Yeah. Like, we've got our stuff together. We're ready to go. Um, other things that are included in this information, and this is a topic for another day, but like email addresses or your agent's information or things, these are things to include in what's called the metadata of the file. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to get into that today, but it just, if you Google it and find YouTube videos, you can easily see how to add that information into your audio file, uh, but not in the file name itself. So that way you can still give that person that information but it's just not, you know, in their, in their uh, list here. So that's... And, um, to, to people's defense, I think the naming convention was demo list and underscore commercials uh, underscore name. I think, I think that was the instruction that was given, so. Um, even, even so. Even and so. It still, it still, it still <laughs> and, if that, and if that was the naming convention, then um, a lot of people didn't follow instructions. Um, right. So that is a good thing to be, if, if, um, if for jobs you're given a naming instruction, be very careful. careful and make sure that you name things how they are. Because I, I have personal experience with casting directors who, if it's not named correctly, they will not listen to it. They yeah. just delete because they just don't have time. Yeah. Uh, so, it's, so it is important. And it's your very first step of being of service is just naming it how they want it. Uh, great. So now that, that being said, let's listen. Now that we've got our first impression and we've got our folder ready to cast, okay. let's listen to some demo. And then Tish, did you want to say anything before we, we get going? No, I think I think we should I think we should roll. Uh, oh, start okay. our engines. Let's yeah. do it. Uh, starting with Bob. Good morning. There's 16 fresh picked oranges squeezed into each bottle of Tropicana Pure Premium. Tito's pizza rolls get you there in just 60 seconds. Don't know what you want. If you're looking for a mission, yes, I heard you just out there. Uh, okay. I'm gonna say no. So, so this process of kind of clicking through is the alternative to listening to a demo all the way through. So, doing this really rapid fire, like click here, click here, click here, is how one person can make it through 500 demos mm -hmm. before lunch. Oh, right, right, right. So, just just to clarify, what 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 um what was just happened we listened to the first bit little bit then something in the middle and then something at the end exactly right. yeah so, okay so this is the procedure that um that people are gonna you know your end users your your casting directors and people who are listening to these are going to use to make it through the first round of demos mm -hmm. and so after listening to bob's that way um 
this demo for me, I, I love his voice. Right. And because of his voice, I may or may not, he may or may not be a good fit for the job. Um, but as a demo, uh, I, I, it's a no for me. I was confused. It's a no for me. Yeah, I, I like the voice. The demo was confusing and maybe a little dated. Yes. Yes. Um, as a side note, uh, your demo is about you. And so the first thing I want to hear out of the speakers is not music or somebody else's voice. I want to hear your voice. Um, and so if we listen again real quick. Good morning. Singing in the rain? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. that's, that's okay. Uh, great. So onward to David. Walmart is investing in the most important part of our company. Zio Home Theater 2016's North Frame. Nate. Is um, so for me, this is a no for me because of that quality we were talking about. It doesn't sound authentic that these spots were produced to the industry standard of a radio, commercial. commercial you know, it TV sounds, commercial. It sounds like a narration demo to me. I love the voice, but it doesn't read to me as a commercial demo. Tish, what do you think? Um, I think, no, like the, the initial thing is like, yeah, good voice. And then it didn't, it didn't keep my interest. Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Didn't, I didn't catch, it didn't keep my interest. Yeah. So this is super interesting already. Just in two demos, we've heard two fantastic voices with great, unique vocal prints to them. Uh, mm -hmm. But because of the presentation, they're getting passed over for the job, um, which is super interesting. Uh, let's keep listening. Get ready for a hot new camera phone. Our lowest price. Hey, go do some stuff in this town. I got the shoes. I get a sandwich and just love. Great. Yay. That first spot really hit me. Yeah. I thought it came out of the speaker sounding well. I thought she sounded current and clicking through. There was enough variety that I'd be like, oh, like I would want to hear more. What did you think, Tish? Um, grab, grab me at first. And then uh, for me, it sounded a little bit the same. Like everything kind of had a little bit of the same snark. Yeah. So, but, but that's also might be. Okay. And they... And that, worth another listen. Worth another worth listen. Worth a deeper listen, yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 So we're going to add her to the next round. The only comment that I would I would say is it's incredibly long. It yeah. was two minutes and twenty nine seconds. Oh. Uh, Sixty seconds is is it's all it needs. To you be. know, plus or minus a few. I think, you know, the trend now, like if you go over a minute ten, you're pushing you're pushing your luck on a commercial mm -hmm. demo. Um, so you got seventy seconds at the max, max, max. Um, with that. Can you guys hear me? Alexa, show me something exciting. Introducing a revolutionary new technology. Hi, Bill. Love, love, love. Com cost some insomnia. Uh, no, I really like the last one. <laughs> I think it's cool. Uh, I think it's I liked, I liked her. I felt that I got a sense of her personality right from the get go. Uh, and clicking through, I heard enough variety that I was like, oh, like she's. She's great, and she felt very specific to me, which I liked. For me, I didn't believe the Alexa spot because I hear them a lot, and it didn't feel quite right branding-wise to me. But the other ones were nice. The other ones were nice. Yeah. Tish, what did you think? Oh, I, I like. Like? I'm sorry. Hi. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. All right. Captain Frank. When researching hospitals, consider how pretty you've just been invited. High expectology isn't replacing people. Um, it feels old school to me. It definitely does. It, it kind of a similar issue to David, where like the vocal print is cool, but the presentation of the work feels dated, and it it doesn't quite um, it doesn't come out of the speakers like these last couple of demos we've mm -hmm. heard. So it's a no for me. Uh, Tish, what did you think? Yeah, it sounded it sounded more like a narration demo. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. Definitely sounded more like a narration demo. Uh, let's see, Gloria. Florida's natural premium brand orange juice, all co-op of I have no life, but delicious. No one can resist on phonics. He's hooked on phonics about 20 minutes. Is hooked on phonics still a thing? I don't know, maybe, but I just don't know. Sorry. I can't speak to that. Uh, that just hit my, I was like, wow, that took me back. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, so I don't know why, but I was, confused 
like just hearing it, like I wasn't quite clear, like I like it just something about the recording quality and something yeah. about the quality of her voice. And then the way that, you know, the beginning, middle and end, it kind of felt disjointed. And so it, I didn't get a clear idea of, of who, who, you know, Gloria was clicking through. And so because of that, I would, I would pass on her. Uh, uh, Tish, what did you think? And I would say, I would say maybe I, I thought, I, I thought the first spot grabbed me and then the other ones seemed a little, a little pushed, but you know, they, they, they had a different energy to it. So I put, I put her in maybe. 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 Okay. okay. And once again, once again, uh, I w it's an interesting distinction. I'd put that demo in maybe, right? right. It's, right. Inherently, because you're you are attached to your demo, that your demo goes to maybe. But I don't put Gloria as a human on, on maybe. Oh no! Oh, and no, I mean, exactly. with all of these, <laughs> just every, everyone we've heard so far, everyone's voice and reads have been that has not even been a thing that we've talked about. We're we've yeah. been talking about the demo, the demo itself, the presentation of the work. Like we kind of exactly what we came up against with Bob and David and you know, we're coming up against with a lot of people is that the vocal print and the performance uh, is good, that it's a great voice, yeah. but that just because it's a great voice doesn't mean that it's a great demo. And what we're after is a great demo that's going to get you into the next round of casting. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, your voice is not everything, you know, it has to be packaged in a in a very specific way. Think of it like a, like a business card. It's if you have a business card that has stains and is kind of crumpled up a little bit and you hand it to a new client. Still a business card. Still a business card, but it's, uh, are you going to call that person? <laughs> what, what, did, what did Dave Chappelle say? Like, a, it's, an, it's like an above ground pool. It's a pool, <laughs> but you know, so. Well, let's keep uh, on. Yeah, Get 50 issues of the New York. Get this special when I when the snow falls. Oh, Curtis. Everything okay. sounds the same. Uh, so to me, it's an that demo is a no because um, the quality is not great. It feels and, pushed. And um, it's just it's not produced to to the standard. Um, it it does it just the quality is not great. It doesn't sound good, um, and it's not organized well. Um, Tish, what did you think? Um, everything sounded the same. Yeah. And everything sounded and the same. Sounded the same. Yeah. Um, okay. Onward. Jane. Sometimes less really is more. Years ago. And what I realized. Three calendars pie sale. The new Swiffer wet jet. And seeing a whole new side of you. Uh, interesting. He may be uh, smart. Yeah, I would say. There were. There were moments, moments in there that, that I, I really was like, liked. I would put it in the yes. Which I, is which is great. Yeah. That's what we want. We want moments. Yeah. That's great. Uh, super. Hurry into Old Navy and get up to 60% insurance. Are you in good hands with AT&T? Yeah. Excellent. I, I'm a yes from the beginning. Yeah. Super great. Really great. It sounds right coming out of the speakers. Yeah. Uh, quality is excellent. And her performance felt really up to date and really modern. Um, Tish, you agree? Sound yes. Good? Um, I think I think it all sounds good. Um, the only thing that comes to my mind is um, I'm not I'm sure I get a sense of of her, but maybe there's something else in there. Like it, it's getting the job done, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if I get a sense of her. Oh, interesting. In, I, in, yeah. I felt like I did. Uh, but, I really, but, I liked her. Well, yeah. <laughs> she's in round two. So we'll, she's in round two. But, she's great. But this is also why it's in, why it's important because you could be in a room, right? I I was just on a veil for something, and then I was off a veil. So probably yeah. something like this just happened. So right. Absolutely. Totally. Uh, okay, uh, Jimmy. The name. The name. Perfect. We the people of the modern rodeo know that I use a lot more for veggie delight. I'm parallel portable. Um, I don't believe these clients for Jimmy. Right. The impression coming out of the speaker is it doesn't, it sounds, it sounds a little dated. Um, and I don't, I don't believe, like it sounds, it has that, it has that impression of that a lot of older style performers have where it feels character-y as opposed to the modern trend where things need to feel 
people want real, real, quote unquote, real people, something that feels authentic. And, and so for me, the demo is a no in that regard. And I would say I, I immediately, for some of the clients that we heard, I didn't believe he would voice these clients um, br from a branding standpoint. Like this voice print wouldn't, those clients wouldn't hire that voice print for me. Yeah. And, and it's, um, and it's so distinct a voice. Yes. Exactly. So, so it's, it's super important that the branding voice. is and on so point. How, how do you find, uh, like, we need, we need that voice and then how do you bring it up? Absolutely. Yeah. Branding is so important. So important. Uh, you know, the order of things is so important. The presentation of things is so important. Mm -hmm. um, and so let's keep, let's keep going here. At Southwest, we know you can't charge for smiles. Ours are more ship free. For Marvel heroes and villains. New 5% on rooms. <laughs> the name Perkins Cooey. It is a registered trade name of Perkins Cooey LLP. Uh, I so, say, it's I'm a, a maybe. It's a maybe for me. For me, everything's like it felt like everything was recorded in the same space at the same time yeah. and then just had different music underneath it. Like it didn't it felt like a demo as opposed to sucking me into the performance. Um, so for that reason, I'd say I'm a, I'm a maybe it's a, it's a maybe to a, to a no for me. Um, Tish, what did you think? And, and I'd say, uh, I'd say maybe, maybe as well, just, um, everything seemed just a little heightened. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wanted to hear more of the, the relaxation into it. Right. I agree. Right. Like the simple uh, reading. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, Felt like too much. Yeah. Too much was going mm -hmm. on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kimberly. Have you thought about it yet? Together, we can Venus.com. It's time to be Juicy All White Meat Chicken. Single Ranch Chicken Club. Give your next meal a. I'd say yes. Yes for you? Say so yes for me. I, I think um, I. I, I'd be curious to listen more because that first spot I thought was really, I really liked that first spot. Mm -hmm. She, she had, for me, she, the demo had great moments mm -hmm. um, as a whole. Uh, it didn't, it didn't work for me. Like I was in and then I was out after we clicked to the middle of the demo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but uh, I guess I would be curious to like, Hear if more. she would, if she was the right voice, I would, I would put her through to the next thing. So I guess for that reason, Maybe she's a yes in that regard. Yep. Tish, what did you think? I'd, I'd, say, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. Um, yeah. Uh, very good. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, great. So we're going to listen to this. However, um, you, it is not standard or it, the don't send a movie file with your demo. Um, unless they ask for it. Unless they ask for it. Like just, uh, just MP3 files is great. In a quiet land in Texas. Near Colgate 360 Active Life. Build your home. See your RIBs. No. For uh, me. I love the voice. Again, great, uh, great vocal print. Um, but I mean, uh, we clicked to the middle of the demo and, and heard, heard some, some completely other person in there. Mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, when, I'm, when I've got 500 demos to go through, and I'm like just moving through things, I don't want to hear any of that. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear what you're bringing to the table. And if, um, you know, if Maurice was like the, like a great vocal print for the job, then yes, it would be a great thing to move forward because of how unique the vocal print is. Right. Um, but as a demo, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. No. But, and I also think, I also think when you have such a unique, um, such a unique voice print and specific voice print that we can still see other, we can still see more range within it. Right. Like it, it all felt very, grabs you. it's, it's undeniable, but then it was kind of the, the same. Exactly. Right. With just different clients, but it was all the same type of read and energy and all that. Yeah, yeah I'd agree. Exactly. Okay. Um, let's see. MJ. It's where green meets black. Together. Every night before you go to your cholesterol, that's because their mouths are full. That feels like a narration demo to me, um, and it doesn't quite feel quite current to me. It yeah, doesn't feel current. It, it, it feels like a commercial, but it feels very, uh, it feels like a more polished, a more polished, older demo. Mm -hmm. But right. the skill set's there. 
Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's good. And I love yeah. the voice. Yeah. Uh, great. Uh, see, I, so I would, I would just inject a, a little bit more and I would say like the vocal print is nice. The performances was what turned me off because it felt the performance and the read itself felt dated. Um, right. But the vocal print, like the sound and quality yeah. of the voice is nice um, mm -hmm. and really interesting, but the performance and the production and mm -hmm. kind of the overall package felt, um, felt a little, a little dated. Um, let's see, Rob. Because you believe in something more. Get my car serviced right at Critters. <laughs> so confusing. Doctor Who's coming to Netflix. Oh man, I was so, ah, oh, so. Put, so a, put him in, I, I would put him in the yes because I want to talk more about that demo. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Uh, we'll come back to that, but uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. Okay, great. Rob, you're, you're, you're better than your demo. Okay, uh, let's see. Say yes to Hershey's Simply Five Chocolate Syrup. It's the chocolate taste you pay and get your loved ones some of the things they love. Mind body, fit your life. Business owner who didn't scream always go great uh, i love that i love this demo i get i feel like clicking through i know who she is yeah. and what she brings i heard enough uh you know so coloring cool. and and subtle variety in there to where i was like oh like she could totally fit her. she could totally do whatever i asked her to do uh and it sounded good coming out of the speakers uh what did you think tish uh yeah thumbs up thumbs up um boom Starting my own business was a life to find a doctor, Terry. That's right. Who dove body while other design not. Okay. Uh, this is, this to me falls under a similar category that we've heard um, a little bit today where it feels all the same mm -hmm. and it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like. It feels uh, like a demo. It feels like a demo. Uh, and it has that, that kind of old school approach to the performances and to the presentation of the material. Um, so it, it would be a, it would be a no for me. Um, what did you think, Tish? I put in maybe because those yeah, stuff I, that, I, that I liked that, 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 that caught, caught, that caught me. Um, yeah. but it all, it's, it did. Yeah. yeah. It, it was a variation of a color. So yeah. Yeah. It was like, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and like it was, be, it would be, it would fall under that category, like with Bob and like with Maurice, like if the vocal print was the right for the job, mm -hmm. then it would be a yes but if it was not right for the job and it was another option in the pile because of the demo, it would be a no right. um, in that regard. Okay, let's see, Steven. People everywhere are talking about Wawanisa, a sip and savor this. We saw this and what in business. Uh, similar note to what, what, I, what I just heard is, um, is it, it felt very, very old school and it felt very um it had a, a dated feel to it and it felt kind of all the same again to my ear like it hit my ear as like oh this is a demo as opposed to oh these are these Things are jobs that, that steven has has booked mm -hmm. and uh has you know presented to me as an option to hire him um so for me the de this demo is is a no tish what did you think um, I think it, it sort of fell into the great voice that sounded a little old school to me. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Cause I was, I was on the, I was on the fence for part of it. Um, but yeah, it just felt like the clients were great. I believed yeah. those. Um, um, so let's keep going. Thomas. Remember when the only phone you needed was the six binocular side the box. What could be better? Aren't available. Don't do gothy. So Thomas falls under the same category as where I would put Rob in the sense that the demo set an expectation for me with the very first spot and then it fell flat after that um, for me. And so uh, that's, it's, it's so important that when you come out the gate okay. strong uh, that it continues throughout mm -hmm. uh, and it doesn't falter because i loved that first spot and then i got disappointed right. it, it just it, it it didn't feel as good as the first spot for me right it felt like my expectations were set and then we didn't get we didn't get there um tish what did you think yeah no uh, the first thing grabbed me and the last thing grabbed me 
Yes. So that's an interesting thing because I might have gone like, oh, well, but because um, I did, I did hear, um, I did hear a, some different places that that he could go, and then something that was like really just like, hey, man, right? Like last well, maybe, little, little throw thing. him, throw him in the yes, because it might just be an order thing, and like mm -hmm. getting rid. No, that was Thomas, babe, not Tim. Oh, we sorry. haven't listened to Tim. All these T's, it's hard. Let's see, Thomas. Thomas. There he goes. There All okay. right. Now we can listen to Tim. When pain in his hip became too much, Art's done. With all the hours you're putting here, you'll find foam reduction. Um, to my ear, a kind of a, a very, kind of a, a theme uh, that we're kind of coming across today mm -hmm. is it, it feels like a demo. It yeah. feels like everything is kind of produced the same. Um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't come out of the speakers in an authentic way for me um and so even if yeah. the vocal is interesting um it's it's still a no for me because um you know it it it's not it, i don't believe it i don't i didn't believe it um tish what did you think um i think i got swept into the quality of the voice um I, I would probably listen to it again like i, 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 would the, I just want to hear the first one again when pain in his hip became too much, Art's doctor said it was time for surgery. He trusted his hip. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I love the voice. It's just, it's, it's just not quite right. It's not quite it's right. Not, it's just that, not quite right. And that first spot to me feels more like a, like a medical narration thing. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel like a commercial. It doesn't feel like a commercial. Um, that I would agree with. Yeah. And let's listen to this last one. Smell anything? Come. We make sure we take any sandwich or salad and transform fun to patient's needs, no matter how big or small. Okay. Uh, I would put this through to a yes uh, because I felt like I got a sense of yeah. um, who she is as a voice talent and like the expectation that was set at the beginning, um, there were similar moments throughout. And there was some um, variety. I... I, the sniff turned me off, but I don't know if I would have listened past that. But <laughs> I, it, it, it just hit me weird. <laughs> for, what, for what we're doing today, I would say yes. I would say yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and then I'll, I'll just say that I was so surprised to hear a girl's voice. I was I, too, I, with the name. I totally, I totally had in my mind, um, I totally. Uh, um, you were expecting a dude. I was expecting a dude. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, this is an interesting, uh, interesting note here. Uh, Glenn is saying, are we hiring voice talent or demo producers? So we're kind of talking about both, uh, Glenn. So um, because what we're, we're, we're talking about um, voices and then we're also talking about what, what we're looking for in a, what makes a great demo too. Right. Because so the two are a little, not a little bit of both. They're not mutually exclusive, right? Because just like we talked about from the beginning, your demo does not exist in a vacuum, mm -hmm. and so your the presentation of your voice is just as important as the quality and talent that you have. Like you could, it's kind of the the saying that you could have as much talent in the world, but unless you you know put it out there in the right way, like nobody's going to pay attention. And I think on on top of that, um, when uh, when you're listening to all of these demos um, back to back to back, you want, you, it, it's kind of like having a good website versus a really not good website where it's hard to click around and stuff. You want to make it as easy for the client as possible. Also, you want to show them, hey, you can trust me because it sounds like I've booked all of these things and I understand myself as a commodity. So you can trust me with this, whatever you're, because some of these clients are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars, um, at least commercially, and they want to be able to trust that you can deliver. Yeah. And that's, that's all this is, is I can trust that you are currently working. And if I ask you to do something, you can do it. So, I mean, essentially the demo's job is to get out of the way. And so the reason why, you know, these people made it into our next round folder and these did not is because there, the, there was something or multiple things in these that were distracting and made and it. And gave us a doubt. And gave us a doubt about 
whatever it was, you know? Yeah. And so, but there was something in these that um, rang true and felt yeah. authentic. And we connected with them on a, you know, on a, on a very basic level in that regard. Right. So the answer of course is it's never just yeah. this or just that it is both, but it is super important to know that like, you know, how you present yourself is just as important as the talent that you're bringing to the table. Yeah. It's like yeah. showing up for a job interview. You know, what yeah. kind of job are you showing up for? How would you dress and, for that? And, uh, uh, Gary Kelly is part of the dojo. He's, he is a, a creative director and he wrote earlier as a creative director, you're looking for any reason to eliminate anybody. Absolutely. Cause there's so many talented people out there and yeah. how do you pare down 500 demos to 10? Right. It, it's so hard to do and so yeah apps and this is this is how they and do it. it's it's all it's in this and this is also like what's going on for so what's going on for us you know and and we're we're explaining a little bit we would probably just go boom 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 yeah like, oh, maybe oh, yeah, going lightning oh there's there's nobody to deliberate with in in the actual job like even if multiple people are working they're like you take these 200 i'll take these 200 mm -hmm. and then we'll and then we'll, we'll bring them together. We'll bring them together and go from there. The, the worst story I ever had was, and this was for on camera, but I had so many auditions for a role that I just started eliminating people if they were uh, two pocket peats. If they had two pockets on their shirt, just gone, gone, gone. Because I just had to cut it. <laughs> I had to cut it in half somehow. It was unwatchable. Exactly. Yeah. Now you so, can't plan for that, but. <laughs> right. But that's what happened. Well, so. So I guess the question is, uh, should we, uh, should we, um, cause we, we have, you know, this handful of commercial demos to get more mm -hmm. in detail with, do we want to switch over to the let's animation? Switch, let's stuff? switch over so everyone gets a, gets a lesson and then we okay. will, we'll go around. Does that Correct. seem right? Yeah. So cause so we don't have a lot. Yes. Yeah, so slightly there's different. A, um, we don't have a lot. Um, yeah. so animation wise, so we're going to, we're going to shift gears just, you know, quite a bit here yeah. because the requirements and the expectations of a commercial demo are, are, so are so different from the requirements of an animation demo. So, or um, a character demo. Or a character demo. So to, to put it into a little bit of perspective, with a commercial demo, our goal is, is um, your personality mm -hmm. in a very immediate and un, kind of, un, uh, what's the word, like no frills, like a no frills way. Like it's, it's about getting right to the core of who you are as yep. a voice talent and making sure you? that your brands and, and everything is super clear and authentic for you. With animation, this is about comedy and it's about Variety. range because what most, the way that most people break into the industry animation wise is through doing a lot of supporting voices. And auditions. And auditions. And so a, what, what a very common scenario is, is that one voice talent will be hired to voice four to eight supporting characters in, long. in a particular thing. Yeah. Um, and so variety and comedy are your best friends. And then obviously like presentation plays a part in making sure that there's nothing distracting from the talent that you're bringing to the table. Um, and so that's what we're listening for here is we're right. listening for uh, variety, we're listening for comedy. And believability. I can, it's, it's not just doing impressions of voices. It's, oh, I can, I can see what kind of character this is. I can. It's so much about seeing a scene. Yeah. You know, it's not like, uh, like, I mean, I'm not even going to try. The, emo gonna... the emotional truth, the emotion, right. emotional truth that, that the character's in. Exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. So through these, we're going to click through a little more than we did with the commercial. And, um, also I like to say this caveat, if you're, um, it, this all depends on your market. If you are in a very small market, um, animation and character reels are not as important. Um, and the production is not as important. Un unlike if you're in LA or New York or Vancouver, even Atlanta. Um, so I right. always like to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, just, just by the nature of an the animation community yeah. is, is very small and it's very specific. Yeah. And so, um, you know, just something to have in mind. If that's something that you, it's kind of, this is one of those scenarios where it's like, if you really want to go after animation, you know, you kind of need to be where the, where the work is. Um, 
but let's jump in on some demos. And looking and looking at Sarah's, it says animation interactive. I'm assuming that means that there is video game stuff and animation stuff on there. Those are two very different things. They are not the same thing, um, just to be very clear. Right, and they, and they each they require their own things. things that your end users as casting directors and agents uh, are expecting and need to do their job. Yes. So um, this comes back to being of service, and so we don't want to mix those two and make it harder for them right. to do their stuff. Uh, but let's take a listen. There's one thing we can still do in case of emergency. Each control. My mess tail is a blind old f way. I do that sometime. So oh, it's clutch. Wow, to alive. <laughs> I mean, fascinating reading. I remember human. No need. He tried to give me my, my So it clear it clearly sounds to me that this is absolutely a blend of and what she said, animation and interactive work. Those can be totally separated out because yeah. this demo is There's two minutes and twenty seconds. So split them. Then long. you'll have it. Uh, so split them out. Um, in terms of what I heard as far as variety and comedy, I thought the animation stuff up front did a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some things that I would want to hear in a different order only because they hit my ear more attractively. And so if I was literally just like cruising through this stuff, I think there were spots in there and moments that should be pushed further up in the order mm -hmm. so that I can hear them faster mm -hmm. um, to keep my interest. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing with this one is splitting up the animation and yeah. interactive stuff because it clear it clearly feels like there's a night and day difference between the two. Right. Uh, Tish, what did you think? That 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 being said, the 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 content um, the content is great and the yeah. the truth was all there. It's good. Yeah, yeah like I this, believed everything. I believed everything, and this like you know split them out, and this would this would do the job. Yeah. Like this if I was if I heard this, I would be like, oh, I could I could yeah. ask Sarah for an audition. Yeah, it's really good. Um, uh, give me a little, I want to keep things moving so we can get to the next round. Oh, so. sure. But I escaped. I've been all when the dog gets, uh, with this. These are all the same voice to me. Mm hmm And it uh, sounds, it sounds not produced and not uh, emotionally connected. Right. Agree. Yeah. So, so that would be a distraction, and so that would be. A, and then uh, we'll just we'll just listen to one of Earl's. So let's we'll listen to the animation. I give life to the first. Man. Yes, sir. Well, I brought me <laughs> return. Book. Oh, oh great! And best interest to keep your horse. <laughs> Never. My only note is I heard a female voice. I think, and for animation or any kind of character thing only your voice. I don't want to hear anybody else on there because I, I got confused of, wait, did he, can he do a chick voice? Right. Because, because there are some dudes who can, who can do a what, what if you could do, what if you can do all the voices? If you can, great. Put mm -hmm. it on there. Yeah. Um, but do it in a way that's not, that it, that, like, try to stay away from having a conversation, having a conversation. Like, if, mm -hmm. I understand if you're having to cut around, like, something, if you actually, like, did something, like, on Phineas and Ferb or, right. or a big mm -hmm. show and you're trying to just get a clip together <laughs> like great do the best you can but if you can avoid dialogue um, mm -hmm. it just helps clarify things for right. people and it makes uh -huh. it very straightforward about what you're actually doing yeah. in your demo um, as far as an animation demo is concerned variety, was, variety good. was good the first two spots and characters sounded pretty similar to me so I would change the order around a bit to make it pop a little more but you know, I thought it was great. given, given I, the circumstances. I want to play with that guy. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, okay, I want to see what else this guy can do. Yeah. Um, okay, and then, and switching gears one more time. Switching gears one more time. And we'll just... So narrative stuff and narration things, these are, these are a unique thing because they're so specific. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I mean, we'll listen through really quickly, but, you know, narrative is more about long form content. Yes. It's more about, you know, this is your place for your, you know, corporate and your like you see e learning for specific here. Jobs. You know, uh your audiobook stuff. This looks like a text document, so I don't know what that is. Um and so, so yeah, just yeah, let's, so let's, let's listen. listen. 
If you look to your left, you will see Anna Rose Bain's award of pregnancy. At Westmore, our construction management necessary. They were also considered an aphrodisiac. I don't know if that's just e-learning. It seemed more like just a general narration uh, thing to me, but it, it, I believe that you do narration. Yeah, I would. Um, I thought the quality that opens the demo is not great. So yeah. either I would either re-record that if you think that that's your like your strongest, strongest thing that you're bringing to the table, or I would move the order around to something that sounds more interesting um, out the gate to set a good first impression. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, it's if I was specifically looking for something and listen to that voice, if she was right, I believe it. I would believe it. Punctuation serves so many functions in our language. I have asthma. And that is totally okay. Column and speak at a national party convention. The adventure. You gotta have the right angle. And I'm. What an interesting voice. Interesting yeah. voice. Um, again, with kind of the charactery thing in it, leave that stuff out. Like it's a narrative yeah. demo is not the place to do accents or different things. Like unless you're like showcasing, like oh, I got hired as a British talent to like voice. Tish. Tish gets hired for her British stuff all the time. You know, to do like a, if you did a British voice for a, a Microsoft internal video mm -hmm. or something like that, like that's fine. But anything that feels character-y. Um, I would avoid on a narration demo. Is, is a good thing to avoid in there. Just because. Although, although in, a, in, a, in an e-learning, in an e-learning situation, there may be some need to show, oh, I can do. I can do sort of a situation thing. So in that specific, in that specific, uh, honing into the speci specific genre of the specific genre of the specific genre, I could see where that would work. Um, the cool thing that I liked about Finley's voice is that it really, it really has like really interesting, different quality to it, mm -hmm. and also was very relatable. Like you're telling me about something. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. Look at those really interesting really voice. Yeah. yeah, really good vocal print. Really good. Uh, and then let's listen to this last one because this is a text document, so we can't listen to that. Wildly successful beyond the designers accomplished this task, some made into an empty nest. Okay, so. Um, my only note would be um, everything felt very um, the same. I would want to hear something in a narration demo that's more. Uh, a little more relaxed and conversational. It felt very, um, uh, kind of very sterile and kind of announcer, which works for some narration. But in a demo, I also want to hear: Can you do a little more relaxed, conversational at ease? And from a from a quality point of view, one of the things that's super distracting and something to remember is that a lot of people that are engaged in casting may or may not be a part of a studio system, and so they could be like me, like trained audio engineers. And so if I hear something that sounds like your vocal was recorded all in one afternoon and then you just put different music underneath it, the, the illusion, that's a distraction for me. Uh, and so it would very much be like, a, oh, I don't, I'm not really interested in that because I clearly know that this person hasn't done these things. Uh, or, and Quentin said, you're right on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, but I think I think that there's a lot that like the the voice and the quality is someone like I would listen to that guy just right. absolutely Again, there great. is no we have everyone we've listened to today has great vocal prints and like there's some great reads in there there's nobody that it's like mm -hmm. oh forget it no yeah, no so, sometimes there are though guys so we're not just blowing smoke like sometimes that's like absolutely oh, oh, oh yeah here. sometimes there okay. you can yeah. there there's are definitely people, like, people that, oh go back you should train some more. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, but again, it seems like the, the big through line today has been like great vocal print, bad presentation or something or distracting. Or like it's an older, it's like a demo from eight years ago. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. And then um, um, Finley, Finley says that she actually gets hired for boys voices because they aren't, they don't actually hire kids in that format. So that, that's a little. Then what I would do, what I would do is have a demo where it's just you doing your kid e-learning stuff and label oh, it like that's that. That's interesting. Because and do it, have, it's just 30 seconds. Like, and you just doing your kid stuff. And you don't have to produce, like you don't have to produce it with sound effects and music or anything. Just do like, you know, if you do three different sounding kids really well. Do those. Just do 
10 seconds of each kid and then label it kid voice demo. So that whatever. way when I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh, this is what you do. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's Clarity. interesting. Clarity is We're on. all about clarity. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to the second round with, with these. This, this, this is really great. And it's, it's also really helpful just for everyone to get a sense of what the different requirements for different demos are and that we do need. So there's lots of great learning that, you know, lots of great things to notice here. Um, any, uh, any quick questions before we go into the next round? Everyone's, and everyone's doing great of, of uh, mentioning any, anything confusing, anything you'd like clarification on before we go to the second round? Um, yeah, this is Sarah. I was just uh, wanting to ask super quick for, I don't have a narration demo myself, but for narration demos, you suggest not having any music in the background or I guess like very minimal? It depends. Uh, I think that's, that mindset is, is kind of, it's not a, the best way to think of it. The, the best right. way to think of it is what's authentic to the brands that your voice is attached to and so it's getting right. specific about that and then matching that in terms of production and style and sound so for example for, like, like i i do a ton of um narration for amazon and microsoft i i do a lot of work for them all of the videos and the the projects i work on with them they all have a certain amount of music underneath so i make sure in my demo um, for those types of clients that I have music underneath and it, it fits the kind of music they cast for or that they end up putting in their projects. So it's more about, do I put, it's not about, do I put music or not put music? It's more about, you know, does this client produce right. their content right. with or without music and then matching that? Like audiobooks. You don't, for audiobooks, they just want to make sure you can handle dialogue and narration all at the same time. You don't need a uh, sound design or anything with that. It's just more about how do you handle the long form copy. Mm -hmm. Does that make uh, sense? Yeah, yeah, thank you guys. Cool, yeah, of course. Cool, um, any other quick questions? We're, we're gonna move on to the second round and let's take it to the next layer. So just, um, just reminding, like, if, if you have your um, if you have your gauntlet here, so we were listening for um, does it pop in the first seconds? Does it cut through? Is the connection true? Does it move me? Um, you know, the the one that made me laugh. I'm like, yeah, that one made me laugh. I like it. Um, like ability. Do I want to mo spend more time with you when it's done? When 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 the when the um, when the um, demo is done? I always like to say that. Um, I always like to say that I want, I want a demo to be um, like a really good roller coaster ride that ideally, whatever, it, whatever the first impression of it is, whether it's the labeling or something, makes me go like, ooh, what's this? Like click, 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 like a roller coaster. And then it releases into whoom, sheem, ba, boom, and drives me into the station. And I want, I want the experience be, to be the, the first thing that I want them to say is, ooh, again, again, I would like to hear that again. That would be great. And there was no place that I fell out of the roller coaster or it went kunk, kunk, or was so scary that I went, ugh, right? Yeah. So that, that's, a, that's a kind of fun image to keep in mind. Now, as we're going to, um, as we're going to the middle impressions, we might be thinking a little bit more about the production quality as we hear it more fully, although that, that was some of those things. And competitive stills, does, does it sound like something on the air? Um, the range as we hear the whole thing, the contrast, what's different, um, what is way different. Um, the versatility, can I interpolate what you can do in between, right? If you do blue and you do red, I can assume that you'll do purple, right? Mm -hmm. um, energy. And then the, the, do we cover the range of energy? At the dojo, we call it the cello meter. Like if you think of how much energy is required to ring the bell on a strong man thing, right? Some, some spots may just need bing, and some may need a lot. So levels of intimacy and, and energy. And then the lasting impressions. We've been talking about this as we've gone along. So, all right. Um, so let's listen through um, for the next round. Take it away, Ryan. 
Okay, great. Um, so, so in theory, if we were looking at this like from a, you know, from a job standpoint, mm -hmm. like we obviously like when we're starting, like when I was starting to pare things down, we kind of had an idea from the client, like what we were listening for. And so that was also kind of a guiding principle for us listening down in order to pare down our list into this kind of smaller next round thing. Um, and so now that we're here, you know, in the real world, this would be where we get really more specific about like, is the vocal print right? Like what's the client actually, looking what's for? the client, client really looking for or whatever for our purposes today, as far as demos are concerned, just like what Tish was talking about is where this is about the presentation. Now this is about like your voice grabbed me. Great. But how does this work as a demo and how it would serve, you know, casting directors and agents in the best way possible. Mm -hmm. So more, so more as if you were listening for someone to put on the roster of someone that would be reliable. We know exactly what she can do. Yeah, um, that's a great, that's a great way to think of it. So, yeah. so exactly. if that's the parameters that we're putting on, because once again, we, we need to have air in the vacuum. It doesn't exist. Exactly. Without context. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, great. So let's see. Let's uh, we'll just start from the top again and, and kind of work our way down. Am I listening the whole thing? Uh, we're going to listen for, a lot, a lot longer. we're just going to listen for longer chunks this time. Um, so here we go. Get ready for a hot new camera phone, our lowest price ever. That's right, a color flip phone with a built-in camera for real deal is style. Yeah, I remember that book really well. Now, here's what happens. There's these people and I, I can't. This is it. Go. Hey, moms and dads, ever thought of taking the kids to the YMCA? Say it redial on the telephone, it ruins my manicure. Yeah. Pizza or large one topping pizza for only nine dollars more. Only at Pizza Hut. Peanuts, popcorn, cotton. Uh, this one is interesting. Interesting. So uh, I would get rid of, I, I liked your read on the first one, but then when I heard it's a flip phone, I'm like, oh my God, she hasn't worked in forever. Because um, uh, we don't have flip phones anymore. Um, yeah. So I immediately was like, oh, it's old. Um, yeah. And that, yeah. it's two minute, that it's two minutes long oh, and, that the, and that the pacing is, is, the pacing is arranged for two minutes is also kind of that it's been out of the game for a while. But yeah. uh, if things are good, I would just want, things are Need to move. Yeah. yeah, and also, you know, now listening for longer chunks, there is a lot of kind of red flags in a sense that I heard that we didn't hear on the first round where it was like, there's a lot of dialogue and there's a lot of like, you know, character character-y things that are in the mix of like, oh, I'm on the phone. Oh no, I'm not on the phone. Da, 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 da. Like it's very confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so listening again uh, and listening more in depth, you know, I think there's a lot, there's a lot of kind of trimming that could really mm -hmm. benefit this yeah. particular demo. Absolutely. Cool. Um, Let's keep on going. Onward. Alexa, show me something exciting. Introducing a revolutionary new technology from Beyond TV. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, here we go. Nothing wraps you We're here. Hi, Russ. Hi, Bill. Love, love, love. Com Spontaneous happiness. Connection to us. I think it's fierce. Alexa, turn the lights out. Yeah, that's right. I loved that little thing where you were like, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. But then no client happened. And I was really disappointed because <laughs> I loved that. Mo it felt so real. And I was like, oh my God, that's her. That's great. Um, but then no client happened. And we were hearing other things that didn't really have clients. So I was like, wait, where do I put her? From a casting standpoint, yeah, it got to be very, it got to be very confusing. Um, it's having 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 clients like I, I, it's, I can't stress enough how important it is that the scripts and the branding are correct from the beginning because mm -hmm. you can be a great performer, but you could read something that like about a flip phone or about something, and that is what turns people off and distracts them from how good you are and how right, right. you would be for the job. Right. Because, um, for example, with the, the Alexa stuff that opened and closed, um, I've worked with Alexa on a lot of different spots, and I know that branding is not, not right, and the read is not, not how they, they do it. Um, it just it, it hit my ear wrong. 
And mm -hmm. also, and then as a personal note, like in terms of order, which we'll get, we're going to get into here in a little bit is, mm -hmm. um, don't circle back to things like don't, need to do don't be clever and like bookend a spot because then it just makes it feel like you're putting on a show as opposed mm -hmm. to like giving me something that's real um okay. so I feel like I was lied to a little bit and so it's just an interesting kind of reaction that I had in that uh so let's listen to Jane oh uh, I just sometimes sorry sorry I wanted to say uh one thing about else um what I did also hear though was like really cool potential. Like there was something in there that I like, oh, radio imaging, that girl could do radio imaging. Mm -hmm. And there's also the sound quality just like went boom, like I was right there with it. It it was mm -hmm. it really cut through and really was undeniable. Like it just went grabbed me. Absolutely every, every part of it. So that was that was yeah, absolutely quality, quality wise, it was right in there. It, it was just I think with with that uh, L with that specific stuff, I think it's the um, the order and the branding that kind of let you down. Yeah. Um, yeah. For sure. But uh, vocally, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, now we listen to James. Sorry. Sometimes less really is more. Less sugar yogurt. But the friendships were even more so. We know how much you love Marie Callender's. That's why I'm with Blue. Love them like fam about opening your horizon. Get closer with Viking River Cruises. I would open with Marie Callender. I liked that spot. It immediately hit my ear and I was like, yeah, I thought it was, was much stronger than what you opened with. Um, Cause the opening spot was, was very slow. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I yeah, would say, I would say that was my kind of biggest distraction was just the, the arrangement of things. It just mm -hmm. felt, it felt too slow. Mm -hmm. um, and that, you know, it's great. It's great to have those gravitas moments and it's mm -hmm. great to kind of take your time in some things, but it's important that like, um, you know, that things feel like we're moving along and it doesn't feel like we're being kind of in slow motion through or, or there's or there's variation in the ride right that right exactly, exactly. So like that yeah and the thing the thing that i love about jane is that she knows exactly who she is mm -hmm. she knows yeah. exactly how powerful the experience she's had in life and that comes through genuinely and this is what i was talking about like like jimmy and jane kind of have uh, that older mature have have had a lot of life experience quality to their voice and jane has like these different these different variations of it warm warm grandma pie and we're out of here see you kids we're on a cruise yeah. right? you know like that so really understanding the demographic and understanding the variations of of all of the places yeah and the clients were good like i believed all the clients you know a cruise line uh health care um marie calendar like i all of that was working. It's just, I think, order and maybe throwing in something with a little more energy yeah. would help yeah. that. That's interesting. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Speaking of all right. Jen. Hurry into Old Navy and get up to 60% off the entire store with gifts from $3. The way you use insurance. Are you in good hands? This holiday season, all switch to AT&T Wireless and get a new iPhone coverage that works as hard as you do your dream is out there go get it we'll protect it one is never enough always cool demo. yeah i i loved the um the range i felt like every time we we clicked somewhere new there was a different energy or a different intention mm -hmm. a different scene that you were setting um, I believed every single thing we heard. Yeah, she felt to me like she felt really authentic. Yeah. I never, I never questioned the authenticity mm -hmm. of anything, and there was nothing in the production or presentation that was distracting. distracting. I felt like I was with her from very beginning to end, and like we clicked through probably like five or six different commercial spots, and it was right at a sixty-second mark. Yeah. So mm -hmm. great timing, great organization, like really good. And I, I actually, I actually felt like the production was uh, almost in competition mm. for the first, the first spots. It, it, I was like, oh, it sounded like a lot of stuff happening. Oh, mm. interesting. For me. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. For me, everything felt great. I was right there with her the whole time, which was, which was awesome. So really good in terms of it's excellent. Yeah. all the things we've been talking about. Really good. Um, 
Let's see, Kimberly. Have you thought about it yet? What will you ask Alexa? She's ready for everything. Just ask. The all new Chevy Spark. It's not small, it's fun size. No one at any age deserves to be bullied. Together, no matter what your size. Venus.com. Secured MasterCard. Juicy all white meat chicken. Smoky bacon. Asiago cheese. Next meal, a major upgrade. I feel, Tish, I feel like this is like a cousin of yours or a younger sister. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would audition for the same stuff. <laughs> uh, super, super interesting. And, and it's super interesting that like the last couple of clients have both opened with Alexa spots. Mm -hmm. So like you can see how in this context, if like 30, 40, 50, 60 people are all opening with Alexa spots and they're all produced incredibly differently and some are on brand and some are not like that, that gets rid of some really quick it, it's another way to say no kind of like what gary was talking about like two pockets no you know oh not on brand with alexa mm -hmm. no uh Kim, in kimberly's case i i thought it felt, alexa was that was that was spot on i thought it felt really good yeah um the thing the interesting thing for me listening to more in detail is i still understood who she was as a voice talent um so i got what i needed However, the middle of the demo, I felt uh, could really use some tightening up mm -hmm. um, because it lost my interest in the middle and then won me back at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, and so. And for me, for me, the Venus spot was the weakest spot for me, not because of your read, just because having listened to hundreds of demos, thousands of demos, at some point, everybody does a Venus or McDonald's spot. And whether you've done it or not, it's kind of one of those things that's like, oh, another one, which you would never know having listened to stuff. So for me, I was just like, oh, a Venus spot. Right. Meh. So again, the more specific you can be from the beginning about mm -hmm. your branding and like, it's not always the best thing to go like McDonald's or Venus or whatever, right. like maybe going like with a different uh, or, you know, like a local brand, something might be right. a stronger choice for you. Um, you know, so right. it, it all kind of comes together. But for me as a demo, that's kind of how I felt was mm -hmm. the, the beginning was really great. I got what I needed from her throughout, but I thought the middle uh, could use some adjusting to just help it glue Elevate. together even more. And elevate even more. Yeah, and I loved I loved the invitation of the first spot. Like it made me really like, oh hey, she's talking to me. Yeah, I want to listen. Um, and then I got a little confused with sort of um, age demographics. Like, uh, like were you being like just getting super clear? Are you being the kid? Are you talking to the kid? And then some of the products had sort of kid voices, but but products that were like, is that a kid voice? Like, so so obviously you have that potential and that range to be like, hey, it's Barbie's dream house. You should go get one, right? Mm -hmm. um, but so it's just just a that's where I started thinking about. That's where my roller coaster ride started going. Like, hey, wait a minute. Which I think so is I, like right in the middle, like, right. and that's where mine yeah. started to drift. And too. I think it's just I I think all the potentials there is just getting even more specific with your who you're marketing towards. Yeah, more yeah. focused. Yeah, more focused. It's good though. I like uh, it. Oh, Rob, great. Rob, here we go. Because you believe in something more, you pick your challenge and you conquer it. We're with you. Adidas, complete with a drink and cinnamon twists. Taco Bell. Live Moss. I had a choice. Wait for the end of the world or get my car Get to Grumblies.com and order one of three Grumbly Dudes. You care. You're so... Phone booth. Doctor Who's coming to Netflix. Binge the whole series. Branding and typing is so important. I loved that first spot. I don't even care what the client was. I was like, yes, this dude can narrate or it can be that, that guy in the car commercial, the sports commercial that I'm right there with him. I'm cheering for him. He's supportive um, and inspiring, um, but super relatable and conversational. Mm -hmm. And then the rest got really pushed and really um, gimmicky. gimmicky. And I was, and, and so it made me really disappointed. Um, so I would say if, if those kind of pushed Taco Bell 
kid toy thing is what you do, I would start with that and then put, put the conversational thing in the middle or towards the end. That being said, you would be doing yourself a disservice because I think the conversational thing that you opened with is where you're going to make your money it's because worse. that is so great. It was it really was good. so good. Um, yeah. And I agree. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was the same thing. It was kind of like it set an expectation and then it betrayed the expectation. Um, and it's, it's, it's a tricky thing because we're trying to be as specific as possible, you know, so this is what we're talking about when it's not your resume, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so like having this, like, you know, ah, things in 60 seconds, um, this is an, this is one of those opportunities or chances where like it it's confusing and it kind of betrays the intention of it mm -hmm. rather than being of service and being something that just clarifies like wow this guy's like legit, legit. sounds yeah. great and and the the uh, I kind of agree though with, with the top and then it got a little character I would say I would say it's great that you have the character and can go there and the energy but maybe figure or, um and explore maybe figuring out how to pepper that in a little bit right than, but so we get a little taste of it but like, have the meat and the potatoes be which which way are you going and i can do this which i think is what Brittany was saying if if you if you book all the all the hot wheels commercials then the, uh, oh, but I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with this and then it, it kind of lost, um, the character stuff is great. I think just a little, uh, um, yeah, yeah like pick one, a, a compliment. Yeah. yeah. Just pick one. Yeah. Pick one. That's all you yeah, need. Just really good. Uh, great. Uh, let's listen to Julia's. Say yes to Hershey's Simply Five Chocolate Syrup. It's the chocolate taste you love made with five simple ingredients you can pronounce. What are the things they love? Why do we work out? Whether it's to feel strong, to be healthy, vacation. The new Hilton Honors American Express Ascend card can get you to your because your business isn't small to us. 14 unforgettable flavors of. I would. It's so funny. I would never even listen past the first box. I'm like, she's great. I got it. Like, I know. Oh, like, that's, that's what I was saying. Like, yeah, you had me at hello. Yeah. And like, that, that and first spot is so good. So good. And, would, and you could, you would work forever. And just on that one spot, which is exactly what you want from the opening of your demo, mm -hmm. because, you know, most of the time, that's all people are going to listen to. Right. And I felt like it was so specific and like it was you knew unique. exactly who you were. Like, every all the everything came together in that spot like your vocal print was spot on the branding was spot smile. on yeah the you smile it was just that little sense of humor at the end of like oh and that's funny thing. yeah like oh it was perfect yeah. it was well, really great and the the listening throughout the clients were so great i believe you've done all of these spots mm -hmm. i mean if i had to give a note i would say maybe pepper in something with a little more energy like that's a little more heightened maybe but maybe that's not something you do but that's very specific uh, that would yeah. be like a that's not a general note that's yeah. a very like specific and specific. and i actually i actually felt like i could interp that i could interpolate that if she can do this and she can do that she could then go she there she could get there like, yeah. Yeah. absolutely and i loved like one of the, one of the images that i like to to think about as you're working on copy and as you're putting together a demo it in general is um imagine that you have to go on a vacation and you have to go hiking and you have to go swimming and you have a dress up event and you have something nice with you know visiting your grandma like you just have a, a vacation that you have to pack all in the suitcase um all in the suitcase that we have everything that we need now um julia this was really nice the hershey's was sort of like hey we're just sitting around the table and then there was the workout outfit and then the hilton took all of that authenticity but now you had some like low pumps on and a nice nice skirt um and so yeah this this is i think this is good so far this one's my favorite um so, and then we, do, we, do we have time to listen to these other two tish oh uh, yeah let's let's go a little we're, we're, we're um I think we had talked about ending at 11.30, but we'd like to go a little bit longer because I'd like to get people's questions and wrap up and talk about what else is going on. So, so just move on to questions. Hang out. Do you just want to move on to questions then so people have time to do oh, questions? Oh, uh, well, let's see. Um, how are people doing for time? If, if, we, if we listen to Thomas and, and Zeb again? 
but let's let's do it and and if you have questions here oh if you have to roll um type in your questions we'll answer them and then you can listen we're going to send the recording to everybody and also uh, for anybody who needs to leave you can find us at nextlevelvoicedemos.com um we have our a contact page um we are super happy to go more in depth and, and we offer a free 15 yeah. minute no obligation phone call so if you want to use that 15 minutes to get notes on your demo or chat industry Specifics. stuff whatever it's all on our website um next and say level the website voice again demos. i'll type it in yeah uh, next level yeah next level voice demos.com and we'll throw it in the chat for people that stick around but i just did it there you go oh great thanks Very yeah good. okay good 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 um awesome well let's finish up and and um we'll talk about uh get your get your questions and uh wrap up okay uh thomas just throw it in there uh, we put, we put his email in too, so oh, anyway. okay, good. Uh, Thomas. There you go, Thomas, all right, here we go. Remember when the only phone you needed was the one in the kitchen? Life just seemed a little more simple. Uh, I'm a police officer. I put my life on the line every day with a new perspective. Ameriprise Financial. Tough, rugged, mean, and green. Air to every child to goth themes, whatever that means, or hang up on you the second you mention 200. There were moments that I was like, yes, I know this guy. He's like an older cowboy type of thing. Like I want to sit around and smoke cigarettes or drink something or go on a trip with you. But then there were things where I felt like you were trying to put on a voice or put on a thing a thing yeah. that i didn't believe and it, it it broke the authenticity that you had already set up um with some of those other spots yeah like it felt like a, a very kind of a similar note to what we've seen in a lot of cases today where uh there's an expectation set mm -hmm. and then that expectation gets um you know distractions come in yeah. and kind of mess up that feeling and so what what started out is like oh wow uh, it kind of finished like, uh, well, now I'm confused because mm -hmm. this first spot is so connected and so good and on brand. But then, yeah, but these, then these others these, are forced and put on. So can he like, do that? Did he just get lucky on the one? Like what, what yeah. happened? And then like for me, you know, I didn't hear any other clients and I didn't hear any clients. For the first spot, I didn't even care because I immediately knew who you were. Right. Yeah. Um, but but again, like clients and branding are so important mm -hmm. um, and really and being a, authentic. Yeah. And in, in, in um, demos today, authenticity is what everyone is listening for. Mm -hmm. um, casting agents, clients. I mean, um, for those of you auditioning, like on the pay to plays or through your agent or whatever it, I know everybody's seen it, non-announcer, conversational, real yeah. person. And I think and when you have a really specific, specific um, voice print that is rich, deep, folksy guy that can also go work in class. Like I felt, I felt like Thomas has all the outfits. It's yeah. just he wasn't as comfortable in some of them. Right. Um, and I would also, I would also say I liked the last spot that was a little bit like him just like talking more um, because it, it cracked. I, I would put that up first because we have like it's this guy with this voice and he does this voice and this voice but that adds a little element like no i can i can just talk to you like this too um so i, I would kind of put that that up and then cover the other outfits maybe um, just move it i move it farther up because the yeah. opening was really strong yeah. and very yeah, grabbing, absolutely. which yeah. was really good and the americas you know like that's what else could you ask for for an yeah. Thing, right? yeah. And that was one of the ones I totally believed and was like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, good, good, good. And so let's listen to this last one. Let's and we can get questions. A girl. Seb's a girl. Smell anything? Come closer. You still can't smell anything, right? Because we make sure we take the time to make the most out of what we've got. Co? So add natural, satisfying creaminess to any sandwich or salad. And do child sized needles matter? They do to Jeremy. At one or two. Uh, okay, so uh, a very similar thing, just a different, it's kind of same story, different, yeah. different, different thing where, um, you know, the opening felt really strong and then like Brittany didn't particularly care for the sniff, 
I didn't mind it. But then when it happened like three more times before we even got like client information, I was like, okay, I'm done. And then when we clicked through, uh, all of a sudden the quality took a turn yep. um, and it wasn't recorded as well or produced as well. Uh, the clients shifted more into like a narrative kind of client thing as opposed and, to commercial clients. And it became more mom centered, which I, you, having everything sound mom like, you sound a little young for that. Mm -hmm. So to me, I was like, why is she doing all this mom stuff when you're still pretty young? Like it, it just, it branding, it just, I, I got confused. Okay, right. yeah. So it was, yeah. it was one of those things where it was the distractions kind of took over yeah. the enjoyment and distracted from your vocal print and right. how, you know, the talent that you're bringing. Right. Um, is what, is what I heard. Yeah. On mm -hmm. another listen. Um, Tish, yeah. did you that? Um, I didn't, on the first on the first one I just heard the quality of your voice and I think I was so like it's a girl that I didn't quite hear I was like so so my brain was so there um I didn't even hear the subject of the smell anything and it wasn't until the first thing like smelly thing now I'm like like what like poo do I have poo on my face I'm like like something something like that it it it's it's interesting because it's intriguing but then it also also made me go like that. and then um just uh, I agree with with Ryan um, that the the quality shifted and there was a, also like a little sort of weird clip to some of the clip to the quality of the voices uh, the, the voice um, that made me go like what um, the 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 warmth of the child size like that you know like a caretaker the, there's there's really nice stuff here um, on on second glance it wasn't as strong as my first impression but yeah. Yeah. Agreed. And sometimes that happens, you know, sometimes um, oh, when we first listen through because we're just going and we're getting a first impression, it's great and it gets you in the next pool. But then listening deeper and more in depth, it's like, oh, I, I missed that the first time. <laughs> um, and it looks like we have some questions popping up in the chat. Yeah, let's let's get these. Let's get these answered again. If you if you need to go. Um, uh 15 minutes with Brittany and ryan um 15 minutes with me if you want to talk about things um what i want to emphasize about how we roll at the dojo um we um are a full training program so wherever you are in your journey obviously people here we, people on this call are probably have their demos are re thinking of redoing their demos because they're already in it or um or are about to do their demos so at the dojo we um we start with our you should do voiceover intensive which lays down the foundations of how we work the internal training being equal as as uh it's, it's a very holistic holistic approach um and wherever you are we want you to start there and then um there's a full a uh, full training program called from mystery to mastery that's divided into belt levels and we would pick you up wherever you are so if you're if you're just about to do your demo or you want to redo your demo you'd come in at the middle and go blue brown blue belt and then brown belt would be integrating how are you going to get that out in the world um, we do have a you should do voiceover intensive that start a virtual one um, a six-week virtual one that's starting on saturday and there's still some spots left if you want to talk about that. So that's a little bit about, about what's going on here and how this fits in here. But let's get a, a questions answered. And just e email me and, uh, or go to, go to the website and get some time. And you can uh, find it. Yeah. So Gary's question. Um, Gary, ask your question if you're still here. I'm still here. Yeah, awesome. uh, yeah my question is, well, now I can't read it. Um, should you... Uh, <laughs> Uh, should your demo focus on the categories that are big in your specific region? Like here in LA, car and food are big. Uh, and I know most of the talent I've cast are, are local. I mean, rarely do I get auditions, a lot of auditions that I would, you know, ISDN them or something from Chicago. For sure. Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, um, not necessarily, because your demo is kind of, I, not everybody has a great food sound or a natural car sound. So I think it's more on what does your voice do and what kind of clients do uh, would you book right now or in the near future? Um, also your demo, now that with technology and stuff, your demo can 
work for you here. And if you're here in LA, it can work here, can work in New York, can work in Atlanta, can work in Seattle. Um, so I think it's, I think it's more focusing on not what do people cast in my specific area, but more what does my voice lend itself to as well as what are my goals right. yeah. so as a like, talent. Because if you, for example, if you, in, you, if your branding is more of a, if you just naturally fit more of a regional vibe, then that is the best showcase for what you do. And that's how you're going to be able to attract as much business as possible because that's where you shine. Mm -hmm. If you are much more of a national voice and you're competing on that scale, then, you know, producing things at a regional level and trying to compete for those national jobs, it's not going to make the cut. And so right. it really comes, all comes back to what your definition of success is and also like what your goals are yeah. and how right. you're branding yourself to achieve them. Right. Yeah. I think, and I think I, uh, you, you guys just covered it. You know, coming, coming up 25 years ago in Chicago, that was kind of a thing like, okay, you need your car and you need your food and you need your thing. Now the other, the other layer of that is, um, even if, you know, so the other layer of that is, is what is what's on your demo, does it resonate with you? Like, if you're not a car person, then don't put a car thing. If you don't like doing laundry, don't put the wash machine on there, right? Even if your voice is perfect for that, find something that your voice is perfect for that you give a rat's ass about, right? Um, that, you know, so, so you, because this is the time where you can create whatever you want, right? So why not have something that you actually care about? I th so I think getting caught in, I think the, the, the way, the, the, one of the reasons I love, one of the many reasons I love working with Brittany and Ryan is that they look at the whole thing. They look at the branding of what's current and then how your voice can serve that and put those things together. And then ideally we'll, you know, we'll find the, and this is, this is something that you actually believe in. So we, we kind of have those, but not just like your voice is good. Here's a mom. Here's a mom spot. You're kind of a mom. And here's a thing. You know, it's, it's so the, there's lots of ways to be thinking about that. Um, excellent. What's the next question from you? Let's see. Uh, from I see from Quentin. Uh, how often do you recommend updating your demos? How do you handle a newbie with no actual spots so he doesn't sound like he's been an hour in the booth? Um, I say, uh, updating your demos. I mean, think of it like a headshot, right? For those of you who are actors, um, you could use a headshot for three years, but do you still look like your headshot 10 years from when you got it? Does your voice sound the same? Did you grow as a voice artist? Have your priorities and goals changed? That's what I always, um, say. Mm -hmm. There's no like, oh, you should get a new demo every X amount of years. It, it just depends on your, on if it's still working for you. Exactly. It goes back to the yeah. mindset stuff we were talking about from the beginning of, you know, defining what it is that you want. Mm -hmm. And if your demo is achieving those things for you, then great. Yeah. You know, don't fix it if it's not broken. Uh, but if something is amiss, then this is a great place to start. And then there was a right. second part. How do you question. handle a newbie with no actual spots? So training is important. Tra training is super important. I mean, cause it's voice acting for mm -hmm. a reason. So, you know, getting, becoming a, a, the best performer that you can is, is always going to serve, right. you know, serve you in whatever situation you find yourself in. But again, like what we talked about from the beginning with mindset wise, like your demo is not a resume, right. meaning that this is not about showcasing things that you've actually done or have not done. Like that's not it the, can. it can, but that's not the mindset that we have as producers. And that's not the mindset that casting has. The mindset is, can you, do I believe this? And is this authentic for like, is, is the branding right? Like, is right. this authentic? All the things that we've listened through for all the demos is so that mindset of, oh, I didn't actually do these. Like, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is like, are you, if you do them, are you believable on them? And does it match what you bring to the table as a voice actor? And that's Great. why, and I think another part is um, uh, that you, uh, it says no actual spots. So he doesn't sound like he spent an hour in a booth with a producer. That's why we always say research demo producers. You want to listen to samples of their work and see 
oh, I like the sound of this. Oh, this sounds real. This sounds good. And working with a real good producer, that's what's going to kind of elevate those spots to make it not sound like some of the demos we heard today where everything kind of sounded the same. Like that's your... That's the whole point of a, having a producer. Right. Like that's one of the many, the many things that one of the many responsibilities that yeah. falls to your demo producer uh, is to make sure that that's not the case Correct. and that everything feels authentic and, and true real. and real. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, Jimmy, you want to ask your question? Yeah. I'm one of the folks, you guys, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the folks, you guys, I guess, what would you suggest for my demo? Uh, well, um, oh, oh, go ahead, because you guys don't know Jimmy. I know Jimmy, so I'll, I'll give some insights, but go go ahead. Right. I, I would say um, let's schedule a 15-minute a call. and Because uh, we'd have to listen and And that way we can, get, we can get really specific yeah. and, and give, you, give you some real time to answer that question for you. So yeah. reach out to us, and we'll, we'll chat with you more about it later. Yeah, and because I think that stuff is great. Call. When's a good time to call? Uh, just use our website and schedule a schedule a meeting with us, and we'll we'll get something on the books. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. 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 That's that's also why Brittany and Ryan are great because Brittany writes the copy. They sit down. They both sit down with you. Brittany writes the copy for you, um, so it gets really really specific, and they could know. Now, in terms of what I know of you, Jimmy, because I I do know you, um, you have. Yeah, you have a prospector's voice, but you live in <laughs> you live in Soho, and you're a hipster, and you're awesome, and you're a photographer, and you love your dogs, and you know. And <laughs> we were talking about Jane. You know, you have a certain level of experience in the world, and you've seen some shit. So finding those things that are genuinely you, right? Mm -hmm. and, and then, and then also, I think this is something else for people with more mature sound, right? Um, uh, that uh, the demographic of people who are of an age are different. People aren't going like, well, we're sitting on the rocking chair on the porch and we just wait <laughs> for a living. You know, that's not who people are, even when they have your voice, right? So f finding that blend of all the aspects of you and not being pigeonholed as, oh, prospector guy, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then, and then, you know, as, as we've been talking too about how you make sure that all of your, uh, delivery, you know, everything that you're delivering is from that genuine, genuine place. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. So you don't, you don't fall into generalities. Yeah. Good, good, good. Um, yeah. Can you share your question? Earl? Can hear you? Oh, here, let me unmute you. There yeah, you go. I unmuted. Yeah, I just was asking, uh, since the, um, the commercial demo is meant to show, you know, the, the, the essence of who you are and characters are obviously outside of that, um, is, is there an importance for a character demo? And if so, what's your strategy on that? Well, I disagree. I disagree that a character demo is, is not about who you are, because I think the, the, the idea of a character demo is how are you bringing your heart to each character and how is each character in a situation that you bring your heart so that, it's, that it is totally about you and the essence of you. It's just for a different, it's for a different thing. Um, you know, so should everyone have a character demo? No. Um, if you have facility with character demo, Absolutely. Then show the range of what you do, and then also depends on what you want to want to do. The thing that as we a separate, as a separate demo, though. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh totally absolutely. Demo. Because remember the first thing that Ryan said: How are we serving our clients? How is this demo serving our clients? So, if you're a fantastic animation guy and I'm casting for a merit prize, I don't care, right? Um, but if I'm an agent, that you know, they were telling the story about great your character work is terrific um it's just a ratio of, of amount of work and amount of money mm -hmm. that if you are just character and don't have that other part to be making money that you want both of those but if you have character stuff and you love it and you do it and you have the facility that you do absolutely absolutely and then what you can do is in your commercial demo just pepper a little something in right just a little something that makes oh wow he could 
that that's in the context of an actual branded commercial, but shows that he could go there. Let that, you know, just kind of pepper something in. That would be, that would be my take. And I think it also depends on your region. Um, region is very important, especially when it comes to character stuff. Um, and so I, I say if um, you, you know, having a character demo and having a facility for it is great. And then it, it goes back to what are your goals? That would be, where would you use it? Are you trying to get into video games? Are you trying to get into anime? Are you trying to get into animation? It all kind of just depends. Um, and so going back to what are my goals? Where do I want to be? What region am I in? What region do I want to end up in? It all peppers mm -hmm. in there. Right. 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 It, animation is one of the more so than commercial. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes becomes about where you are yeah. and where the work is. Um, and that's just a, it's kind of like a fact of life. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. And so if you have great facility, then it's up to you to honor that facility to go find the work and to make yourself available. Um, to like have an agent in LA, New York. Right. Vancouver, all those things. So. Um, but practically, it serves the same purpose as a yeah. commercial demo, which is to open doors for you and to, to show what you can do, to show your variety and comedy, to get you auditions and to make you money. That's that's what it does. <laughs> yeah, excellent. <laughs> and you should be making lots of money. So let's take um, let's take Joy's question and then Ron's question, and then we'll wrap up. And um, yeah. There we go. So Joy's question. Joy, you want to share your question? All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. All right. So as a newbie, if you manage to get a demo that sounds totally real and authentic and believable, and it sounds like you're out there actually working, how do you follow that up and make sure that you still feel like a seasoned professional when they actually hire and work with you? There's a uh. lot of coaching and training on talent and performance. and then. Well, that's, that's, you know, that's the thing. That's why at the dojo, we have criteria. When are you ready to make your demo? Um, some of the criteria is, uh, are, um, can you pick up any piece of copy that's put in front of you and nail it within one or two takes with no direction? Okay. That's one thing. And then this, this level of confidence is is something that is why we do the internal work you know is is m the most important so do you have the tools do you have a methodology do you have a way of approaching your work that you can feel confident and believable and obviously you know one of the one of the things um that we do at the dojo um we have the you should do voiceover intensive we have the 14 month mystery to mastery takes you through the belt levels you get your black belt right um we have a working pro workout that's called the nth degree, after you get your black belts, nth degree. Um, and this is great for any, anyone who is like, has been in the game and need to revive your mojo or come and focus on something else. Um, it also uh, keeps you connected as you make that transition from, from the training to the professional world. That's what nth degree is. Now, where I'm getting to is the other working pro workout that we do is called the VO Dojo Pro Fight Club. And this brings together top-notch talent with the decision makers who hire us. For instance, tonight, Ned Lott, who is the guy who uh, who casts like Pixar movies and Disney Love movies, him. and um, he's he's one of the most amazing directors. He loves what he does. So we're gathering with him tonight, um, and and working um, working that we call it a fiercely friendly face-off that turns the audition process transparent. So. Um, when you're part of the Mystery to Mastery program, you are a part of that, uh, that fight club from the very beginning. You audit the first two belt levels, and then you start getting put in, right? So you have the experience of stepping into the ring with working pros on both sides of the glass, so you build that confidence, you build that clarity. So in some ways, it's just a matter of getting out there and doing it, and that will come, right? It's, it's, it's also like, you know when you start riding your bike like there's you're riding your bike you aren't falling and then you go up and down the street and then when do you feel safe to go ride in traffic right so that just comes from doing it and putting yourself out there um but i think a lot of people what ha i think what happens for a lot of people is that they go 
uh, I think I'm ready to do my demo. And they hand money to a producer and producers are good. So they will make you sound good. And then you don't have, you don't have the, you don't have the hours, you know, the, your, 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 um, your hours flying, right? If, if you take a pilot, if you take a pilot metaphor, you don't have your hours, uh, your flight hours. And so, um, we don't know if you can land the plane. Yeah. So anyway, lost in metaphor. Is that, is that helpful? Um, first of all, um, I would, I would shift the phraseology that you're not a newbie because you could, you could get hired tomorrow. Um, you can get hired tomorrow because you meet somebody on the bus today and they go, Oh my gosh, I'm a casting director. I love your voice. W would you be able to come in for a session tomorrow? And you would go, yes. Yes, I can, because I'm a, I'm a professional voiceover actor. I'm a, a professional voiceover person, and I can do it. And you would, you'd, maybe you'd call somebody and go like, ah, ah, what do I do? And then you'd be like, cool. But, but if you go like, oh, I'm just a newbie, but yeah. They'd be like, oh, right. okay. So that's a little internal shift too. So awesome. <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the rules of the dojo is cultivate beginner's mind. Um, humility, um, determination, curiosity. So even though at the beginning of the journey, it feels like, whoa, I don't know. Trust that there's power in it. And, and we want to cultivate that. Okay. So good. Is that, is that helpful? Uh, Brittany and Ryan, do you have anything else to add to that? Uh, I was just going to say, you know, um, that kind of inherent in that process is when you approach a demo producer and, you know, something that Brittany and I always do is we mm -hmm. always request for you to perform copy that we give you so that we can get a sense of where you are and what you're bringing to the table. Um, and honesty is a big part of how we do business. And if you're not like, if, if there's not something in those reads that we feel is like up to par, <laughs> then our philosophy is to be very honest and tell mm -hmm. you that, you know, and, and, you know, suggest that you keep working before you make the investment to make right. a demo. Um, so I mean, how do you like if you're if you're a great voice talent and you make a fantastic <laughs> demo, how do you how do you maintain that? You maintain that in the quality of your auditions. Uh, you maintain that in the way that you conduct yourself through your business, and you maintain that by taking initiative to stay connected to the community that you're a part of, and working with uh, you know great casting directors and coaches, and taking workshops Workshop. to make sure that you're on trend. And that you're constantly growing your skill set. But I mean, the demo is no substitute for you because you made it. And if right. you did it on the demo, you can do it on Wednesday. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that's that's the idea. Right. We we don't have a have a magic wand that just makes it happen. It all comes from self. Yeah. And you you have that uh, if you've done it, you have that capability within you. And I mean, as a as a person who's been working full time in VO for over four years. I still train. There are people, um, I know Tish still trains, like all of the working pros in the industry, they're constantly training. So it's not just you, it's everybody. Everybody's learning new things. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's yeah. finish up with answering Ron's very straightforward question. Uh, e length for e-learning demo, music for e-learning demo, and we'll wrap it up. Length, uh, I would say less than a minute for an e-learning for, well, so, for a specific e-learning demo. So if you're, make, if you're not making a narration demo and you're making a specific e-learning demo, I would say you could get your point across in 45 seconds. Yep. And mm -hmm. if you can't, then don't bother. Um, <laughs> and and the, the, the idea of music, no music. It's what we talked about before. It's what we, we talked yeah. about before. It's about being authentic to the brand that you are voicing and making sure that if you're creating this thing, uh, you know, that you haven't actually done it and have that audio from the job that you're creating the scent, you're on brand and on trend for how that client would produce things. Mm -hmm. And also just to take it a step further, because I know a lot of people participate in the pay to play stuff. Um, and, a, and a very unique trend for that is to say, I just want to hear like no music or whatever. And they make a big deal out of no music or no this or no that what they're actually asking for and what they're trying to skirt around is the issue where uh, you send in your demo. It sounds great. They hire you to record from home and your home setup sucks. 
mm, and they right, get screwed or sounds different or sounds different. So, so it's a, it's a twofold question. If you're asking about music, no music for a pay to play thing, make a, make a demo. That's just what you sound like in your recording space and call it my home studio setup so that when they hire you and they hear your amazing demo that was recorded in a great facility so that it's highly competitive and would work in any market because that is a requirement as we heard today like it needs to be top notch and ready but then also when they hire you based off of that demo they can hear the quality of your recording studio if you're recording from home and know what they're getting and know what they're getting so there's not this like wow, they sound amazing. I'm hiring you. And then you record it in your bathroom. Right, like right, that's, right. that's what they're trying to solve with the no mm -hmm. music, whatever. So it's kind of just a, so it depends. It's a shift. Good. It's a thing. good, good, good. Excellent. Well, those were great questions, guys. And this has been another great demo listen derby. I hope you guys got a lot out of it. Um, we are all available to talk with you more wherever you're at on your journey. Um, and um, we you tell, tell your friends about stuff happening at the dojo. Um, Virtual Fight Club is coming up next Tuesday with Cliff, who is an automotive, uh, automotive he specializes in automotive voiceover. Um, I look forward to hearing from all of you. We are starting You Should Do Voiceover on Saturday. If you are on this call and you want to start You Should Do Voiceover, um, uh, let me put in a type type in a code because I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a bargain. Um, type in this code Dojo 100 and for being on this call, um, we'll give you a hundred dollars off. So you go to the website and uh, and if if you're interested in what we're talking and how we're talking about here, this will lay the foundations. Excellent. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you and guys Ryan. so much. You. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Look forward to hearing from you. Thank, Thank you, everyone. everyone. All right. Bye. Bye.